Hey, what's up, everybody out there? This is Mike's World's Reactions coming at you guys with another sort of reaction. Uh, like I always like to say, I like to react to everything under the sun. Because if you should YouTube me, oh, yeah. You know, I, I like to do this YouTube stuff, not for any money or anything like that. It's just kind of a hobby, which is why I keep the ghetto, you know, got the beer goggles, keep the ghetto camera. I'm that racer that shows up with the, you know, when all the racers got the brand new, uh, it's the brand new helmets and the brand new suits and all the sponsors and all the, the tip top newest cars without a scratch on them. And I show up, you know what I mean? Wearing a football helmet to the race. Um, everybody laughing at me because my muffler looks like it's about to fall off. And what I do, best driver on the on the damn track. Smoke them all. Shame them all because my with my shitty camera and without the best car, I still get out there, right? And then bang with the best of them. That's me. The underdog, if you will. That's how I consider myself. So because of that, I thought this would be a great way. I like to do different stuff on here. Anybody who's been subscribed to me knows I react to news clips, funny clips, shootings, all types of stuff. The world is full of content to react to. Uh, neighborhood, uh, uh, vlogs, food vlogs, it doesn't matter. You know, uh, I like to react to all types of stuff. That's the, my whole, that's what the whole channel is built on. Variety. You never know what I'm reacting on. You know, it's always going to be me. You know, that never changes. Mike's always going to be Mike. But what he might be, might be reacting to changes all the time. So I decided with that being said, what I just said, I like to change it up, experiment, do things of that nature. This is sort of one of those experiments. If you guys remember or realize, you can check it out. I did a reaction about, I want to say a week, maybe two weeks ago to uh, ALT, Afghan Lawani tribe. That's what it is. ALT which is one of the uh, tough gangs, uh, Afghani gangs from uh, Bay Area, I believe. Vallejo, Richmond, I'm not right off the top of my mind, I can't remember, but it was definitely that area, right? Well, right after me, a few days after me, a professional, if we'll call it that, uh, reactor, reactor, such as myself, not much, very much different than myself. Shout out to Agent 00, 00. That's what his name is, Agent Double O. He's got like 250,000 subscribers. He's one of he looks like a little bit younger, you know, maybe in his 1920s. He reacts to the same video as me, right? From Tommy G. Shout out Tommy G. But he gets like 50,000 views. My video got 100. So, as kind of a joke, but also reality, take reality as it is, I decided why don't I react to old boy right 007 reacting to the same video that i reacted to right let, let me take pointers from him let me let me uh let's let's go along together and see why he got fifty thousand subscribers and i didn't or at least maybe i'll point out you guys can point out in the comments oh he looks better than you he's funnier let's let's i thought this would be kind of a cool experiment if you will right so let's jump right into it people like i said let's uh let's see what he's got that I don't. Shout out to 007. All jokes, no beef aside, all beef aside. So what I basically, like I said, I'm going to be reacting to his reaction video of the same video I already reacted to. Let's see what he does. And I'll see where I'll say where I think his strength, his strengths are, where I would do something differently. You know, let's jump right in. It's an experiment, you know, just something to mess with. Like I said, it's a hobby. I like to do this for fun. So I saw this guy's video. Reacting the same thing I reacted to with tons of more subscribers, tons of more views. And I said, hell, I'm going to react to that. Let's see what are the differences in our reactions, you know. So that's the dude right above me there with the kind of young looking dude with dreadlocks. You know, shout out. Shout out, boy above me. He's in the top bunk, you know. I'm older. Got to get that bottom bunk. And as you can see, Tommy G, my man, that I always react to. You guys have seen it, and you guys recognize the video. Uh, we'll be reacting to it again with, with uh, 007 this time. Inside Bay Area's Ruthless Afghan Street Gang. Tommy G, I'm here with the tribe, Afghan Street Gang. Represent, baby. Get hey, OG. Big uh, homie right here. Uh, Damn, and where this fool put his screen was, it was almost like he made it for me to put, for, for me to be able to put my screen under him. You know what I'm saying? We're teaming up, 007. Let me get some of them subs. I'm, so I, so just to run it for you guys, we just re literally do the same type of stuff. 
you could see his camera's a little more clear than mine. He does a little bit more of a close up. I can get, you know, I show a little bit behind me. He's more like right here, you know, like kind of a close up. Uh, but pretty much same principle. We're not doing too much different. I can notice up there in the corner, he also runs credits. He runs his, uh, the people that he's got in his live or whatever, because he does his live feeds when he does reactions. So you can see that up there in the corner, he's also running his live feed, his premiere, basically, while he's reacting. We ain't the same, you was in school, I caught a body for this state, and I came back and went to school, and I think You getting them crispy before prayer? You did the race, how UAV still got away, I'm surprised they catch a L and I'm still alive. I got an ankle monitor, I'm fresh off bail, and I'm on probation, you feel me? You want me ankle? Watch the AM till it's late, pockets fat like that boy Drewski, brand new Glock and it's a new key, had no stank it like this guy about to fight? Afghanistan is home to some of the toughest to people on earth. It's a place that could be considered unconquerable. With so we already like... Right in my video, when I reacted to the same video, I had a lot to say about that right away. You can tell he's a little bit less uh, lingual, doesn't or you know for in layman's terms, he doesn't talk as much as me. I could tell he already there's so much you could have said in that in, in that entry. I did. I talked about how a real Muslim didn't look like he have an ankle monitor. How did okay they're Afghani because I didn't know when I started what tribe they were. You know, I try to keep, just like I pause it now, my people entertain. He's a watcher, not a talker. With rudimentary weapons smuggled in by the CIA, Pakistani intelligence, and the Saudis, this country has been able to outlast world superpowers with the Russians in the 1980s and the United States in the 21st century. This video profiles Afghani American rapper Rondo and his Bay Area crew. AL Brown and black love right here. <laughs> Many Afghanis fled their war torn homeland and immigrated to the United States in a search of a more peaceful life. Rondo's father was one of those people. After facing racial discrimination and violence in gang infested California, Rondo's father created ALT in the early 90s so Afghanis could join together and protect each other. Many of the original members of ALT have been deported, killed, or have moved away from the area to that get out of the street. Depressing. In today's episode, Rondo takes us into the world of ALT. We explore religion, culture, and characters of this Afghani clique. Doing these videos, I've been around many violent crews, and I have to say this is the most ruthless group I've encountered. Let's dive in. <coughs> of all the groups? The Afghan street gang, I got an announcement. We had a live event, double documentary screening, charity event. Every penny goes to support Milwaukee Youth Wrestling. We so any of my people, I'm going to pause it real quick because that's my style. See, notice the difference? He hasn't even paused it once. You guys let me know, anybody watching this, uh, do you guys like my style of pausing it like this? So you can hear me clearly and I can speak on what I just saw and then continue on just to let you know that's why I do it. Uh, it's well, from what I can see, it seems like like brother man here, uh, double O set double O likes to uh, speak a lot. Some people do that. They'll turn up their volume and speak as the video is playing. But I don't do that because I can't get a clear. Uh, I can't speak clearly upon what I just saw when something else is happening already. You know what I mean? I have to pause, speak on what I just seen, get my, my point across, and then, okay, we continue on. That's my style. You guys know that. That's why it's paused now because I want to talk to you on how I feel, like, you know what I mean, on, on how the boy's reacting, and uh, now we can continue on. Comment. Hope to see you there. It's March. I think it's. I think that's dope. You. Uh, Milwaukee. Oh shit! That's we got a pause. So passionate about man. That's amazing, bro. Oriented. We love that. And now, folks, to the Afghan street. Every group is always yeah, ruthless. Tell me, tell me, but he said this is the most never ruthless. Seen channel before, which is an Afghan street game. And do you have an opinion on that? See, that's my thing. Like here, you, you know, that's what we're doing here, dude. We're reactors. Yeah, we heard what he said. But what do you think about that? Have you seen his other ones? Was he was he was down as Latin kings? I mean. Uh, what did you think about the ankle monitor on old boy? Like, there's a lot going on here, and I haven't heard any opinions from, from Brother Matt. See, like I said, and this dude's smoking me. This dude's got literally 100 times more subscribers than me. Wait, yeah, so five times about 100, yeah. He's got about 100 times more subscribers than me. Is that what people like to see me? Because I, I can sit here and not say a fucking word, not pause it, and just let it play it through. Yo, y'all heard what he said? Okay, let's continue on. Just, just do that up. Huh? first stop of our journey is at a mosque so we can make the afternoon prayer. So we're pulling up to meet these fellas, see what it's like in their life, and I'm very excited. All right, we're walking up. 
there seems to be some sketchy shenanigans going on. We're gonna show you what it is. You getting them crispy before prayer? Exactly, bro. That's exactly what we're doing. Good to meet you, man. How are you? What are you getting, getting cut for a on the swing? Anything special? Just a mid taper. Okay. So why not? Looking fresh. Yeah. Is this the normal spot for haircuts? If I wanted to meet you up in. Nah, you was taking a minute, bro. So I was like, you know what, bro? I was already gonna cut his hair. I was, I was supposed to do it earlier today, but we got kind of busy. So I was like, you know what? Let me just bust it down real quick. What the fuck? What do you think I should do with my facial hair? I'm bro, shave that shit, bro. It's <laughs> like ugly as fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not trying to be me, bro, but you look better shaved. What makes your beard better than mine? right now because i'm afghan <laughs> it's just a staple bro the the goatee it's an afghan staple did you guys grow up in afghanistan or grow up here i, I grew, grew up, up here. here but i've been to afghanistan yeah so it's pretty cool i was out there in kabul and mazar and all those places what was it like bro when i went bro all the women it's probably like how it is now i know for a little bit it was chill but they had the like little blue in the cobs it's different from the now again i'm gonna pause it he doesn't do much pausing doesn't do much talking. This is the one thing I'm noticing about old, old boy here. He doesn't do, he's just watching. I'm watching him watch the video. He make a little, la little giggle now, a, a comment here. But he's not really speaking his piece, giving any opinions. What do you think about Muslim? What do you think about Muslim? What do you think about Islam? What do you think about, you know what I mean? All this stuff about them being the day most dangerous gang and all the other ones he's been, you know, like what? Come on, man. Give us some feedback. That's what I like when a reaction. I mean, I'm not watching. I could watch this video myself, right? Any of us can watch this T.I. Tommy G video. Even my people can watch it. I, I would hope that they watch it so they can get a little of my insight, my jokes, you know, rub some of my world into the video. All I'm seeing from brother above me is a little, like I said, a little laugh here, a little, a little comment there, but I'm mostly watching him watch the video. So I hope he at some point starts broken, you know, pausing it, getting in some jokes, doing what I'm doing here. Really, you know, speaking his mind, speaking his mind and giving some opinion. Ones that the Arabs wear, but it's like, uh, it's all blue and you can't see the eyes. You can't see the face. It's like a little black net. Mm. So, what do you think about that? But to be honest, bro, I don't really care. And that could mean a couple things, you know, it can one. I mean, he's just a quiet person and doesn't want to speak what he's feeling or what might be going through his mind, right? Or two, he's just a stoner, lame brain, kind of lame fucking reaction and not thinking much, not thinking about all the ways, what they, if they have any families. I'd be over there, oh, like in my reaction, watch it. Watch how live it is. I'm over there asking them, do they, but do you know what I mean? That they look like Edgars, they have Mexican cuts, they're not even looking like, uh, acting like like true Muslims with the with their ankle bracelet on. And what is he saying? Jack shit. Bro, a lot of people think it's uh, women being oppressed, but if you're Muslim, bro, it's already part of like the book. So if you call yourself a Muslim, you shouldn't probably have a pro problem with it, you know, in mm. my opinion. Mm. So I know there's a lot, like there's a, what, three or four main ethnic groups in Afghanistan. See, and like right now, I'm actually just reacting to the above me. That's my deal. I already reacted to the video. But like in this type of area, I want to pretend like I'm having a conversation with Tommy G and oh boy, I'm going to give my opinion also. Like in my video right here, I gave my opinion on women not being able to leave their house, what they're talking about. All dude to do to staring at them. I don't understand where he's engaging with his audience like I am. I'm sitting here talking with you guys. I keep pausing the video over and over. I keep giving my opinion. That is my asset. That is my, uh, what do you call it, attribute. That's what I'm bringing to the tables myself. What are you bringing to the table, homeboy? Oh, You're a clearer camera. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, sometimes I get confused. I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm not going to lie. I can see like 20 things wrong with cutting a nigga's hair while he's on a swing. I can see a lot of things wrong with this, bro. There's no way he's gonna have a crispy lineup. Impossible. There's the and trust me, I know a thing or two about lineups. Uh, past June, there's the you. Five minutes into the video, and he gave us one opinion. Thank you. you Uzbek, Uzbek and uh, Tajiks, right? Tajik, Tajik. Pashtun, Uzbek, uh, Azara. Where do you claim your lineage? I'm Pashtun. Pashtun people have fighting in their blood. Known for their Pashtun code, if you are one of their friends, they will sacrifice their life to protect you, like they did for Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell in the True Story Lone Survivor. And if you are their enemy, they consider it an obligation to their code to take revenge on you. When the Taliban emerged in the 90s, they had a network of fundamentalist religious schools called Madrasas. 
you, you guys see, I'm going to pause it again. I got more to say about the same thing. You guys see what I mean, though? How he's just kind of watching, watching, watching. <laughs> Another five minutes goes, he, I wouldn't do that. And then keep it on. Like, where's the true opinion? Speaking from the heart. The fucking stuff, the engagement, like what I'm doing here right now. I, I, I'm missing it. And, and, and But these guys got, you know, and Goat's the same way. Shout out to Ghost the Goat. I'm going to tag him in this, too. He fucking the same way. Sits there puffing blunts, hardly says anything. Now and then says something. People just love to stare at fucking people that ain't talking, I guess. I'm not worried. Don't look at me. Listen. Listen to what I have to say. That's my, like I said, my attribute. These fuel their rise to power. You see, the word Taliban. I'm pretty sure madrasa just means. I'm pretty sure it just means school in Arabic. <laughs> Everything is a madrasa. All the elementary schools is just school. <laughs> the reason I know that is because our language and Arabic share some words. Madrasa is one of them. And means the students. And they recruited heavily from these Pashtun madrasas across Pakistan and Afghanistan for their fighters. Because the Taliban now completely control Afghanistan, the Pashtun race hold a significant amount of power. Do you speak any Pashto? No, I don't speak Pashto, but my homie right here, he speak Pashto and Farsi. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try a couple things that I learned. Okay, um, let me see. Um, well, first, Assalamu alaikum, obviously. Say Tamiyam. Taso Sengiye. <laughs> Dude, I can't with this thing. Taso Korane Sengada. What are you saying? I can tell you what I think. Man, what are you saying? saying? How is your family? Oh, Taso like a Korane. Oh, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, okay, of all the research I is did, is Tommy saying it wrong or he don't know the language? Is that some of the most high. Right. <clears throat> but like I said, very uh, minimal on the comments, on the speaking. I already would have turned three minutes, and you guys already know, into, into 10. Talking about like, oh look, I believe in this part of the video. On my video, I was talking about how uh, how he seems like he didn't know anything, and then he ends up speaking more than uh, his boy doing the haircut. The old boy doing the haircut, supposed to be leader of the gang and all this shit, and he can't even speak his native language. And here's Tommy, white boy Tommy, come along, chatting it up with his buddy, right? That's what I said in my video. But uh, like I said, I always got something to say. And old boy, we're just watching old boy watch, just giggle every now and then and comment, watch the video. He ain't reacting. He's a watcher. Hospitable, nice people on the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we all cool like that. Right. So Taliban, if anyone from the Taliban is watching this, I would love to interview you. Genuinely, I would like to come to Afghanistan. Tommy, you want to get a Taliban interview? Hey, hey. Hey, the day a Taliban interview dropped from Tommy G, my nigga, I don't even know what that, my nigga, are you sure that's what you want? Afghanistan and be able to tell my family that they think I would die if I came to Afghanistan. Yeah. But if you can reach out to me, bridge the gap, we'd love to talk to you. Taliban now is pretty much just like the police force, right? It's the government, basically. Yeah, I heard they've been doing good shit like building roads and shit. And monsters. They're developing, they're developing. I know they're doing some deals with the Chinese right now. That's my plan in the future too, bro. If I ever come up big and make bread, I want to go back and invest into my own country, you know what I mean? Like, Would, would you be scared here? to go back? I don't know, bro. Shit with everybody, bro. So, okay, because if you say in America, I want to go speak to the Taliban, most people assume that you have a death wish, right? Bro, everybody has shit twisted, bro. The Taliban are humans too, bro. Everybody's cool, bro. Not everybody's just born a murderer, bro. You feel me? Why would they just kill you for no reason, bro? You feel me? Just because you're white, just because you're not Muslim, bro. It's just stupid, bro. For, for religion, I get this. I get the modesty in women. I think that's an important virtue, and I think that we're losing that as a society. But I think not educating girls past 12, not letting women work, not letting them leave the house without a man, that to me seems like what I know about my wife is I would never sign her up to live like that. Leaving the house without a wife, I mean, your wife leaving the house without you is more of like a safety issue too. Imagine you You can see how unintelligent dude is. Like I said, the dude that can't speak his own language with the, with the, with the cutters. See, I'm not even reacting to this video, but I can't help but react to the video, right? Because, uh... Tommy was just making out a, making a point. He talked about three different things, right, about women. Not just that. He talked about them not being able to get a, you know, educated past the age of 12, this, that. And what does he, he focuses on one thing, leaving the house without a man, right? Bro, what's a woman going to do to a guy, bro, like if they try to attack them? Bro, we like 400 times stronger than them. Okay, now imagine he says that in front of the Taliban. <clears throat>
<laughs> so that's that's one of the questions. If you ask them, it depending on their mood, you might get a very very different answer. I'm not being sexist, bro. It's just the truth. You know what I mean? What they gonna do? You know what I mean? That's why you need a guy to protect you. But shouldn't you. the responsibility be in the hands of men not doing the bad stuff than women not being allowed to leave their house? Hey, bro, it's a cool world, bro. You can't tell everybody. To Again, made the dude with the damn haircutter look stupid, right? He got it. He got him dead to rights when it comes to a smart Tommy G to, to the smarts. Because the guy's over here trying to say, "Oh, a woman shouldn't be able to leave the house without a man." Because what if a man attacks her? What what could she do? He goes, "Oh, well, shouldn't men just not attack women? And they wouldn't have to worry about it." And then he comes up with some bullshit excuse, right? Oh, well, it's cruel world. Is that what you guys say when you fucking blow up a hundred, you know, innocent motherfuckers? You chill, bro. You feel me? Yeah. So you gotta protect. Different. You gotta. You gotta expect the worst and pray for the best. And you guys go by A O T. A L T. A L T. What does A L T stand for? Afghan Lewanai tribe. And what's Lewanai? <laughs> Crazy and Pashto. What does it take to join? Do you guys take any Polacks? Before we speak about this, bro. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. We don't condone gang violence. We're not in the gang. Anything you see is all props. Hashtag props. Hashtag props only. Hashtag entertainment purposes hashtag only. It's all scripted. At the time of the release of this episode, Rondo is currently facing a multitude of felony charges. I can't tell you. And I'm not, you know, trying to steal any cells, whatever. Like I said, this is more of an experiment. I wanted to give my opinion on the way that the old boy's reacting. Not the video. I already reacted to this exact same video. That was my whole point of it. It's kind of an experiment thing, right? And I'm not, a, I'm not impressed. I'm not entertained. He's not telling me anything about how he feels about what religion, what religion he is. Guys, go check out my video. My video, I, I pause it all through and give my comments of uh, how I feel about this, about how I feel about all the immigrants. Matter of fact, as I'm going through the video, I give my, my uh, opinion on Haitians, Mexicans, how they all shouldn't be here. Because this is the United States, and my, my, my fucking grandpa didn't die so that, you know... Uh, Somebody who was born in Mexico's child, you know, born in Mexico could have freedom or that somebody that was running from Asia could have freedom. They got to fight their own wars. They got to fight for their own freedom like my grandpa did for mine. That makes sense. But that's all in my video, right? All the opinions and like I said, outspoken and emotion and hard. I dump into my, my reactions. And what is this dude doing? That's my point. Exactly what they are, but I can assure you, this guy is fucking crazy. We'll call the worship. Oh. You're gonna have to go there with a half a haircut. That's. Oh, so, how seriously do you guys take religion? Well, take we take it, it extremely serious, serious bro. Like hey. five times a day, like clockwork. We try to do it, bro. But sometimes the devil just tries to like deter you from wanting to pray, and it doesn't give that energy. Friday right. prayer is, is mandatory, bro. Every Friday, men men have to do it for women. It's awesome. Well, the all devil of them, on the shoulders all of them technically thing. are sometimes mandatory. Sometimes the devil tries to tempt me into pornography. <laughs> <laughs> bro, one of the homies he died yesterday, and we had his janazah here. He was supposed to be here for the video. Olive Kim. Olive Kim. Are you able to uh, tell yeah. any more details about that? Yeah, we could talk a little bit about it, bro, but. You know, God, please forgive our own people, bro. Janaza means away like age, funeral. You know? May God forgive him, you know. He's Why the fuck you watching my competitor? No, ally, man. Y'all niggas allies. What up, a rap I'm supposed to be in this video. That's the crazy part. You know, I told uh, I told him. To in wild, even though this dude, like, if you were actually to count up every word this dude has said, he's probably ain't said but fucking 10 sentences in a whole 30-minute video. And like I said, he's not saying what. So now he's getting, okay, so what religion are you? Where are you from? Well, tell us about that. How do you feel about immigrants? These guys are all immigrants. Maybe you're an immigrant. Like, tell what, like, break me down, man. You know, um, like I said, not all of us know his get down. That's why in all my videos, I try to always say uh, for people that don't know, because like for, this is my first video I ever seen from this 007. I don't know nothing about him. And he hasn't given any explanation. You know, uh, this is what I'm saying. Tell him to pull up, and then the next day, it got tragic, bro. But this is the reality of life. These, when you go to funerals, bro, that's when you really see, like, um, the reality of life, bro. Everybody's gonna die one day. This life is temporary, bro. very temporary, and very short. And it, it reminds you that everybody's gonna taste death. That's a big mosque. 
be even like I said, every uh, I just pause it real quick. Even when I'm just trying to give my opinion on, like I said, multiple times through this video on, on dude, I can't help because I'm so outspoken, but try to speak on the video still. Again, there's more things I missed than the first time I, I reacted to it. Like for like religion, I didn't even speak much on religion the first time, which is how uh, I was talking about how I've read the new, the old, the new and the old Testament, the book of Mormon and the Quran. Right. I've read the book of Quran. And uh, one of the things that they all are very similar, they have the same story, right? In, in, in the book of Islam, uh, I mean, in, in the Quran, you have uh, Muhammad who goes into uh, a, a cave and the writings on the wall are what turned him into a prophet, right? That's, that's Allah speaking to him. And then in uh, the book of Mormon, you have John Smith who goes into the forest and through the trees. Uh, God spoke to him. And then you have in uh, Christianity, you have Jesus Christ who went into the desert and uh, God spoke to him through a burning bush. Very similar stories, right? Now, these are the things that I like to point out in my reactions, in my videos to people. Stinja, when you pee or you poo, you gotta do a stinja, you gotta clean your butt and your pee pee, bro, to be clean. What we'll do is, uh, if you already have whistle, which is, if you fornicate, if you have sex or any of this type of stuff, you need to clean your whole body, you need to shower, sit down. So right now, we have three of some of the newest yet uh largest religions killing each other without or at war over god holy land holy war that tells me not make any believer that even wants to believe in god or anyone who's involved in prayer and believing in goodness stray from religion whatsoever and and from god and for thousands of years they've been killing each other i was just talking with somebody the other day how can you be a muslim or be uh, a Jew and and completely kill each other, Palestinians, right? Kill each other by the dozens and, and, and expect either of you guys to decide to go to heaven. That I'd like to know. I don't care who promised you what land. Those are all God's children. It doesn't matter what religion you're from. Yeah, clean the okay. Yeah, go for it. I'm not gonna lie, it'd be so convenient to have one of those with A.P. Cribbo. I can make one. Why am I acting like I can't just make one? You know, I'll tell them, you know, I'm still learning myself. I barely learned how to play last year and I've been teaching myself, you know what I mean? We're always trying to get better, get closer on our D, you know, one day make up our gentleman. So there's a funeral being done, so it's not really proper to film at this point. So we just got done with prayer. Just wanted to talk about some important. Do it that's for going a stream, the... bro. Do it. Like it's not a stream thing. Contractors is gonna be there making noise and shit. That's not like stream content. It's gonna be fucking plumbers and shit, bro. It's not fun to watch. World right now in Palestine, you know. So I understand that he's probably carrying himself a little differently because I, I record my videos and release them, my reactions, and you can tell his reaction is a live stream because, like I said, his live feed. Everybody commenting and whatnot, and making any contributions. You can see how many people are watching his reaction up in the right hand corner. Maybe that's why he's not talking as much because he's worried more about reading people's comments. But I'm more about giving, like I said, uh, the download, uh, pointing out what I know, maybe or asking the questions I want to know. This is Mike's world, you know. I'm not going to just sit there and I, I, I have my little screen right here in the corner staring at it like this, not saying nothing. I'm not going to do it. A lot of uh, oppression going on and the West is trying to trick everybody. You see these ads of them trying to say uh, Palestine is terrorist. And not only that, but they're running ads. No, they're not. Where are they running ads at? On television? On YouTube? I got premium. I don't really see the ads. Yo, that's nuts. They're saying all Palestinians are terrorists? That's crazy. Uh, the thing that really has me upset. And I've heard both. I've heard both sides. I've heard, yes, a lot of pro-Israeli stuff, including the president, obviously, sending all that, that, that aid, like some trillion dollars in aid recently. But at the same time, you also do have uh, both sides. 
right? I've seen uh, Arabs just like him, and actors pointing out that it's the Israelites. I've seen Israeli or Jewish pointing it out the other side. They point back and forth at each other, so. Bro, that there's Muslim rappers, I'm not gonna say names, you know what I mean? I, and I really f with their music, but you don't see them talking about this stuff, you know what I mean? And there's one thing about me, and niggas know me, bro. I ain't scared of nobody, I ain't scared to uh, talk about the truth, bro. Mm -hmm. And they probably scared to get their streams cut because, you know, bro, the Jews, bro, they be owning all the music industry. And I'm not trying to talk shit to all Jews, bro. You know, like, some Jews are good. The people, anybody who fucks with the, the oppression that's going on in Palestine, bro, you automatically opt to the tribe of my life, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're going to try to trick you saying, oh, bro, we bombed Hamas, but they killed innocents. The same way in Afghanistan that they did to our country, they bombed innocents saying they were getting the Taliban, bro. And you wonder why the Muslims, and, I mean, the Afghans and the Palestinians are so and like I said, here we go. Here goes Mike again. I got to give my opinion on the video since old boy up above me here won't say nothing. Let me say something for you guys. Uh, I always felt like, you know, United States did go into Afghanistan and use 9-11 as an excuse for oil. We all needed oil. We know where 90% of the oil are, right? Right next to Afghanistan. It's funny. We went in Afghanistan looking for Osama, but I mean, uh, Oh, yeah, Osama bin Laden and ended up in Iraq, if you guys remember, in Iran, for looking for Saddam. Because why? We're looking for terror. It's a war on terror. And as we all know, terror is not in any one place. We can go anywhere we want. Now we have a free key to go into any country. We're going to, why are you going to Somalia? Well, there's a war on terror, and there's terrorists here. Ridiculous. So, you know, that's the one thing I like about the internet chat, like that you can't take away from it. I guess you can't take it away from the internet, but the way it stands right now, Bro, 20 years ago, if this if this same conflict was happening 20 years ago, I guess technically it was. But like how it's happening today happened 20 2000 years. Years ago, we would just have to watch it on fucking CNN and CTV and uh whatever, ABC, whatever fuck y'all niggas watch and shit like that. Nowadays, you can literally just go online, find like ind like independent journalists that are actually interested in telling the truth. That didn't exist 20 years ago, bro. So whatever image they wanted to paint people, you would have to believe it because you have no proof otherwise. And you'd be like, why would they lie to me? But in our reality, they have every reason to lie, my nigga. Bro, it's war. <laughs> it's war. And when, when war chat, with war comes propaganda. And the crazy thing about propaganda is the niggas being tricked by it have no idea it's happening. So close, bro. You know, bro. So to me, as a neutral outsider, I see... I'll, I'll give him that one. That's the first time I sat there. I listened. I was actually happy to hear him take a second, that double O, and uh, speak with us. You know, give his opinion, like on the media and shit that he just did. What he just did for you know thirty seconds, I do throughout my whole videos. The, the IDF and it looks like they're getting way too many civilian casualties, and that's not cool. I mean, I feel bro, like it's, the media will, the it, it's it's what the media will try to present to you. Do you think you they're good me? guys, Mosh? Bro, it's propaganda. Tons of so on the ta on the American taxpayer dollar, tons of innocent people in Iraq and Afghanistan were drones. Again, I'm gonna pause it and give my opinion on the video. Um, he's saying, "Oh, it's propaganda." Goes both ways. There is fucking terrorist propaganda and Iranian and Afghani propaganda. The same way there is Israeli propaganda. It does go both ways. They, I've seen both both sides. Striked and, and blown up. Um, that's a great and question. That's not, I don't think that's cool at all. Like how innocent people died with your money? I mean, bro, it is what it is, you know. You live here, you got to pay the tax, but if you don't pay, you're going to go to jail. You know? I mean, I don't like funding bombs. I wish, can we fund roads or, or schools? Or some more fucking donations to Ukraine, man. We haven't donated to those niggas in a while, man. That's the, that's the thing that's a little scary about the world stage right now is more and more countries are starting to hate America because of our Oh wait, we did? <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't know. We don't need to anymore. <laughs> Bro, there's still a war going on there. I didn't know we did, man. I ain't get that I ain't get that bit of news, man. I'll be honest. I've been out the loop past couple weeks. My fault. A 100 billion yesterday? <laughs> man, shut up. Ukraine donation. Seventy-five billion, which includes God damn, bro. All season, it's like 
I wish our leaders wouldn't do that because I don't like being hated, you know? <laughs> I mean, bro, I don't know why Joe Biden want to stick his nose and shit when he don't know what he's talking about. We need he doesn't Trump even back. know what room he's in right now, dude. He doesn't know the politics. Trump, Trump 2024. We need Trump. Trump. Trump hey, Afghans for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump say something, he's staying on business, bro. You feel me? And Donald Trump, he's really smart, bro. He's a smart guy. If you do your homework on him, bro, he... Um, there was no wars when, when, when he was president. Trump. Yeah. Yes, there was. Yes, there was. There was a lot of wars. There was all kind of wars. There was trade wars. There was real wars. He did do some good things. Like, I think he... But I'm, yeah, let me get out of this topic. I'm not I'm sorry. My fault. You know, even Putin said that he respected him. You know what I mean? He don't respect Joe. You feel me? So, what has Joe done that was good for us? He Bro, okay. We can all agree on this, my nigga. All right, we all agree there should be no 80-year-old president, bro. Agreed. <laughs> my nigga... Your cognitive health at 80 is cooked. You're supposed to run the free country? You're supposed to run the free world? 80, my nigga? All right, 75 is crazy. I'll allow it if you've been taking good care of your health. 80 is bananas, though. Not even 75, 60, cat. 30, a, a good president should be 45. Old enough, well-seasoned, but still young enough to jump out of a seat and whip somebody's ass and make quick decisions if he need. And uh, I don't see no 65 year old fucking doing that. You know what I mean? Trying to take away our guns, bro. Fuck that nigga, bro. I know. Bro, Biden fell down like 18 steps during this term of presidency, bro. Every time I boot up Twitter, this nigga fell down a new set of steps, bro. This nigga zoned out. Nigga, nigga zoned out mid interview. Come on, bro. Um, you're saying a word that I'm not allowed to say? Have you ever been checked by a brother for saying that? I'm not, word? bro. Hell no, bro. It's funny though. Yeah, that play. <laughs> bay, I get it though. It's, it's It'd different be funny. in the bay. Like people. Even the bay, bro. Like they, they gotta build this nigga ramps. You right, bro. You you did it to him. We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna go eat and beat the meat right now. So we'll see you at the yeah, restaurant. Boy, the masjid. You talking like this, bro? Stuff Come for on, the bro. love. Stuff Fear God. Love. Yeah, God's yeah, in my video, I said something like Mr. Ankle Bracelet, fucking talking about uh, ethics at the, at the mosque, huh? That's funny. <laughs> Fine, just eat it, but not beat it. <laughs> By this point, we were famished, so we wanted to have a lunch Afghani style, and we went to a kebab restaurant. It took about 30 minutes for the kebabs to be made, so while we were standing on the street corner waiting, things got heated. Here's what happened. Who's this white boy? He's cool, guys. Damn, what in the NPC? <laughs> what did he do? What did Tommy do to you, brother? <laughs> Who's this white boy? My That's my hood, bro. This is my hood. Three months is my hood, nigga. What can you tell us about this area? And, uh, this area is my hood. It's my hood. I'm a gang that's here. I'm a gang that's up from here. Believe me. I believe you. Believe me, brother. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever visited Afghanistan before? I, I lived like 21 years old. My okay. life in Afghanistan, bro. I just came in 2016 to America. Welcome. Yeah. Bro. And what was your life like in Afghanistan? What'd you do? It's normal over there, how people make it scene and shit, it's not like that, but it's just like, uh, people like, out there, like, different, you know, it's not like show off and shit out, hey. how the shit is out here and stuff, you know, people trying to act oh. up on weak and shit, mm -hmm. so, especially the Taliban, bro, like, they're really humble people, you know, they don't do too much and stuff, you know, that's why, like, they kick out all the f people out of hey, there, you know what I'm saying? We love that OG, nigga. Hey. Man, nigga walked away to say that. Step up. Let me chill out. <laughs> hey, I'm a civilian. I am a put. Damn, this fool cross-eyed as hell. This fool, this fool can see a peanut. This fool can see his own fucking uh, unibrow. You know what I'm saying? This fool's be staring at his unibrow talking about, I need to get that shit trimmed. See, bro. I literally don't mean anything I say during these reacts, my nigga. I swear. All right, I'll give him for a little more props. You know, like I said, I give props where props are due. Uh, beginning came in kind of slow. Didn't say a word for the first five minutes. I had to liven it up a little, give my opinion. I thought it was going to be the whole way that he's going to be quiet. But he's gotten a little more interesting, gave him a couple facts, throwing out the N-word 20 times, you know. Uh, we'll see if it continues on. Like I said, I can mess with him if he continues, if he continues reacting. That's fine, bro. Let's move the clip over. Let's go get some food, bro. He seems like he needs a, a hug. All right, we're good. Okay, so what are, good? Yeah. So what are some misconceptions Americans or American media might have about Afghanistan? That's a great question. Do you care about the fight? 
Nah, at this point, y'all niggas gotta step. Like, I'm not trying to advise y'all. I'm not a consultant. But he stepped to where y'all went to, bro. Y'all left, and he pulled up. I'm not gonna lie. Gotta, I don't know. Oh, they're in Cali. They can't have guns. How the fuck is you a gang with no guns? They probably got guns. Fist? Someone just pulled a knife. Fuck no. A gang with no guns? You know, believe it or not, they probably got more connects than anyone. They're Afghan, they're Afghan people. You guys know how many AK-47s and handguns they make them in tents and shit over there. I was watching the show about it. Hey, he must he must be on drugs. He probably on drugs. Shit, bro. Yeah, but she's like this, bro. Sometimes you know what I'm saying, like. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, who's writing these captions? <laughs> it's just a white nigga behind the scenes type of nigga 70 times. <laughs> what language were you speaking? Pashto, <laughs> Dari, okay, okay. English. Are there any Pashto vocab words we could teach the audience back home? Simple stuff like this, you just say like, Salaam Alaikum, you know it's high and stuff. And Sange, how are you, you know type thing. Hold the Ipaman. Like on me, like bye bye, goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that guy back? Nah, smoke him. Dead uh, ass. Three, is there, is three, three strikes. That's I don't know, it. Bro, these niggas are ruining the scene. <laughs> I think the food should be ready. Yeah, I think we should the whole scene. Get out from this block, nigga. It's my block, nigga. Get out from this block, nigga. Get the fuck out from this block, bitch. Okay, no. Okay, I was joking before. I'm serious now. You can't let no nigga talk to you that way if you're, if yo, bro, if you're gay. Like, as a Civ chat, I'm doing what he says. I don't want no problems. I have things to lose. I'm walking in the other direction. But as gang, though, like, uh, you have an obligation at this point to smack this nigga, bro. Where are you going? Have a yeah, day. Yeah, 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 so, I don't know if this is a good time to bring it up, but you've had to defend yourself before. Yeah. Is that something that we can get into, but without much details? Yo, we can talk about it, bro. Beat that case, bro. You know, these niggas know what I do, bro. I'm not with the tomfoolery, bro. Me at the same, you was in school. I caught a body from the state, and I came back and went to school. And I stay silent, beat that case. Let the scene and death the race. How UAV still got away. I'm surprised and catch a L, and I'm still out here slanging cash. I'm catching bodies till this day. Should we swap down so you may pay? Bitch, we scamming, trapping, robbing from the AM till it's late. Pockets fat like that boy Drewski. Brand new Glock and it's a new key. You see niggas wanna act up for the camera. Bobby. Niggas know Bobby. what I do off camera, bro. Free you feel me, bro? When, so when you were in 16, you had a, a thing where you had to act in self-defense. Yeah, bro, so what happened was, bro, you know, not even that I don't want to stir anything up, bro, I don't like to speak on the dead, may God forgive whoever got killed, uh, I hope his family forgives me one day, and whatever happened, happened, niggas was young as, bro, niggas pull up, you know, doing the same shit that this nigga does, pump faking, nigga got blasted, you feel me, and, uh, that's just basically what happened, bro, they, the cops pulled up, they had UAVs, bro, they had choppers, they had everything, <laughs> got UAVs. away, no, bro, we don't play like that, bro, you know, we're not gonna come here and try to show off for the camera for you. Oh, bro, I'm a killer. Oh, bro, I'm so. There's no such thing as an Afghan, bro. That's a Mexican <laughs> gang. Bro. That just makes no sense, bro. You feel me? You can see that these niggas are twice and they clearly get no money. They clearly don't care about their life and they clearly got nothing to live for. Hey, shit, I got shit going on for me, bro. I got an ankle monitor. I'm fresh off bail and I'm on probation. You feel me? Look, Question show me your ankle, bro. Show me your ankle, bro. We don't play with the top. Show me your ankle, bro. Show me your ankle, bro. That nigga just left. No, that nigga signed. He got off his ankle. He was on probation, bro. I've met a lot of crews. And to have 50% of the crew on an ankle monitor is the most I've ever met so far. Nigga, it's not the full crew, bro. Nah, 50% being on ankle monitors, that's a high percentage, though. Nah, nigga said ankle monitor game. What a Devontae. Like, this is like, bro, it's not even like 1%, bro. <laughs> Are you able to say anything about the ankle monitor? Nah, we can't talk too much on that case. Like, okay. I can do it on Hey, you ask around, bro. My name whole way. My name whole way, you feel me? So, not really worried about some niggas, bro. Moving smart. Got a career. We all making money. 
See, you got AMG. See, he got AMG. Sonny just left in his AMG. We got some Hellcats pulling up. We got them AKs and sniper rifles. <laughs> I swear to God. Damn, AMGs became the thug car low key, huh? Thank God the M's didn't become the thug car. The M's, M's, M's were really touted to be the next thug car. Because they're very sporty and they're very fun and you can drive recklessly with them. M's should have been the next thug car, but instead, I don't know what it was. The thugs gravitated towards the AMGs. Hmm. The AMGs and obviously the Hellcats, bro. Anything with a Hellcat engine in it. If you fucking with the odd baby, we gonna get you too. But we hopped up in that party, told my niggas just be cool, bro. All right, bro. So M's the tax season bro. car. Tell me what you think, bro. Take a boy. <laughs> so are Hellcats. <laughs> I'll do this, look. Put some of this on the rice and get some of I can't stand watching people sit there and eat, especially when they start slopping. The cucumbers mm -hmm. and grab some of that lemon and I can hear them slopping already. Yeah. Squeeze it and then eat it with a piece of beef and rice. Tell me what you think. That's a five part right. process. Pull it to the back parking lot. What is it for? Right here. That's good. I could definitely move to Afghanistan if they cook like this. They cook way better than this. Shut your mouth, bro. Quit fucking slip, flop, flip, flapping your fucking gums while you got food fucking slipping and flopping all over the fucking place. So one question I think we should we should dive into is why was this set created? So these niggas was at the bar station and this was around the time when 9-11 and shit just happened, right? So there was a lot of racism. You know what happened over there? Yeah, he low-key doesn't really hardly say shit. Double O silent. Union City, some, uh, I think it was an Indian lady. Good job, yeah, some nigga shot her with a shotgun, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It must have been real difficult to be a Muslim or even look Middle Eastern in America after 9 11. After 9 11, hate crime surged against Arab Americans. For example, in Los Angeles County, there were 12 hate crimes against people of Middle Eastern descent in the year 2000, but that number jumped exponentially to 188 hate crimes in 2001, the year of 9 11. People that weren't even Muslim were targeted. For example, Babir Sin Saadi, a Sikh man, <laughs> who was targeted and killed while planting flowers at his gas station. Yo, bro. Like, how uncultured do you have to be? Just looking at him. Just look at his head attire, my nigga. What? It's a fucking, uh, turban. Fucking, anyway, you know what I mean? Middle Easterners wear turbans. I'd, I'd be confused, too. <laughs> He's Sikh. Shout out my Sikh niggas. Yo, that's very sad, bro. You know what's crazy? My mom never complained. Uh, my mom never told me. She never complained. I don't know if she dealt with it, to be honest, because she wears a hijab. So like, fucking Osama bin Laden was sitting. Got pictures of him sitting in his fucking cave with a fucking turban on. What you talking about? People all know, but um, she never complained. Maybe it wasn't as bad in Canada, or maybe she just didn't go out that much, or maybe she just didn't complain about it. Daddy. A Sikh man who was targeted and killed while planting. You were in Canada, sir. How do I explain like Canada and U.S.? If you've never been to Canada, it's kind of hard to explain. Canada, in a lot of ways, culturally, it doesn't feel like it to y'all. But when you go to Canada, you understand. Feels like an extension of the U.S. because we adopt and learn a lot from each other. If you go to Canada, the cities will look similar to the cities you see here. The same thing doesn't apply to Europe. If you go to Europe, the cities look entirely different. So there's a lot of similarities, and the similarities are also cultural, too. <clears throat> Y'all are bitches. Okay, technically, United States, everyone is your bitches, bro. Technically, right? Flowers at his gas station. It's not hard to see why ALT was created. So after 9-11, people were getting down on Afghans. Canada is a DLC. It's like, hey, we gotta create our own set to protect ourselves. Yeah, but that's kind of the origin story of most sets, wouldn't you say? Let me tell you, but ALT is the most famous, most biggest Afghan game, bro. You go anywhere, bro, LA anywhere, somebody will tell you they have family in ALT. It was like a thousand members, a couple hundred members, you feel me? Okay, you just got back from Afghanistan a couple months ago? Yeah. Where did you go and how was your experience? It was pretty safe. Come on, double O. Let's hear some shit, some opinions. Talk about Atlanta, talk about something. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. You have checkpoints? Yes. Yeah, Tons of checkpoints, but as long as no, you just. No, no. No. Okay. What cities did you go to? Just a couple. Okay. How was it for the girls in Afghanistan? It's pretty cool. They don't. They don't. They don't really care about women like that. 
it's the media just makes it seem yeah, like do they wear hijabs yeah. and stuff in the cops? Yeah, they got to. They got it's an Islamic to. country. Why, why not? Like, oh, it's there. Oh, was that the flag that they yeah, all gather that's at their t that's their on flag. Friday? You notice how defensive they get, like, when you ask them um, uh, why they do certain things, or even not a why, or even if they do. Like he asks if they gotta wear hijabs or whatever the the the, the, the things that go. Yeah, of course. Well, you know what I mean. Same with when he asks, like, why do they treat women the way they do? It's cruel world. You shouldn't be able to like, dude. I just asked. I'm down, crazy. We're trying to make sense of your crazy shit. Hey, there's that one big flag that they gather at. Yeah. Yeah. Show you the other ones. Look, it's full of Taliban. You see. Yeah. But anyway, man, that just yeah. does it. Yeah, let's clean well, up. Matter of fact, I'm gonna wrap it about right there. I pretty much made my point. Uh, listen to him sitting here watching him stare again. I think a lot of it is because he's reading the lies, but I don't do a read when I lie, which you shouldn't. You should be able to give your 100%. If you're reacting to something, you react, you, you give your uh, watch everything going on so that you can make an opinion on it, make a comment on it, and then you drop the video, drop it in the premiere. So you can comment with people in the in the comment section. Pay attention to the comments or pay attention to the damn video you're watching. It's hard to pay attention to both. Uh, brother's not doing too much talking. But this is Mike's world. I'm out. Just a little experiment here. Reacting to a reactor. You guys make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll tag everybody involved in this video. I'm out.